جی جی You know when you see a dodge, it's an undercover. Yeah. Look at this shit, bro. Look at that. Look at how, look at how many what cars pulled up. Fuck? Oh my god. y'all hope everyone's having a great day today okay so last night as of this recording right last night i got a text from homie they're like hey have you seen what's going on with the jungle boys i was like no i had no idea so i went to check their story and I, you know i just i uploaded just a screen recording of the initial kind of happening um now there's been more that has developed in the story and we're going to go over that here so let's let's start let's start at the very beginning though of what we first saw okay so let's go over what the jungle boys what ivan and the jungle boys right here okay so let's go over these details so ivan goes let me clear some things up on what happened yesterday sitting at tlc we see highway patrol police department undercovers about 20 cars pull up first thought they were chasing someone into our building after having guns pulled on us and being held we asked for them to speak to our attorney, showed, showed them proof. We had an, 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 had a, an appeal, showed them emails and all the documents they refused after being held for an hour. We were informed it was the CDTFA. I believe that's the California Department of Tobacco Fire. Or, no, what is a CD? What the hell does a CDTFA? um department of tax and fee excuse me so the department of tax and fee administration okay so and they were taking all of our money over dispute we had on late charges uh when they weren't accepting payments during co when during the pandemic we were told to send an email and a fax to get an appeal hearing date we did that and we have proof they received it and our attorney and the cpa were also in talks with employees that worked at the cdtfa this was over like 60K in late fee penalties and interest. On the initial 130K, the CDTFA bill TLC gave CDTFA over $18 million last year. That's a lot of freaking tax money, right? Now they came in with, uh, they came in with money counters, took every dollar in the building while the cops asked us how much money they could make growing weed. After this ordeal, they walked out and said, the, they said business as usual. You can open back up. So we give these agencies all of our money and overtaxed and are overregulated. And this is what we get when we dispute a late fee. I've gone through every emotion. And when I realized I pay all these people to do this shit to us, I just can't wrap my head around it. We are a legal compliant business. And this is how we get treated. The California cannabis tax system is broken and we will all be out of business while all these agencies continue to get bigger every day. TLC is back open today and we will see where all this all goes. And we can see right here, Kraft Farmer um, commenting, you know, I'm not going to speak too much on this, but, you know, Kraft Farmer, Lance, right? He's actually dealt with some crazy shit like this, like not exactly like this, but let's say civil forfeiture. Now, I'll, you know, more on that story to come here in, in, in the future. So but let's go. Let's go, though, to some of the updates, though. There's some crazy stuff here. So first of all, I want to say, like, this is pretty ridiculous, first of all. This is what the tax money is being used for. I mean, how much money do you think was used to have all of these people, uh, you know, come in? And let's let's go through this, right? So this is the start of it. This is what I posted last night. You want to hear the story I heard? Fifty grand. So they took one hundred fourteen grand. This cop right here is asking, "Oh, how much money?" Can I, you know, just absolute just bullshit. So. Um, Look at all these. Look at all. These, look at all these officers. Look at all these officers. After Randy's. 
Jack season. Jack boys, Jack boys. <laughs> Took every single dollar, like it's this is some like looting shit. You know, it's kind of crazy. It's like they just came in, kind of took what they wanted. Look at this though. This is a new update on this. Dude, dude. You know when you see a Dodge, it's an undercover. Yeah. Look at this shit, bro. Look at that. Look at how, look how many what cars pulled up. Fuck? Oh my god. Okay, let's go more now into some more developments here. So response from the CDFA, they have our paperwork that I faxed. They have nothing to indicate why the shop was raided. Regarding your appeal, notes in our system show that it is currently pending a settlement, pending a settlement review. I will forward this information to our collection department for information regarding the billing, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Our office is not aware of the reason for the raid of your client, but I will see if I can get any information. It's pretty crazy, right? I mean, this stuff is ridiculous. Like this is this is a this is a tax paying business. This is people that paid eighteen million dollars last year in taxes alone. That's really crazy. You see burner right here. Wow! Tell them to run that money back asap. Sorry, you have to deal with this nonsense. Yeah, this is crazy, right? Now let's go over this part. Seems legit. No, it seems like some... Seems like some fucking weird shit. You know, all these unmarked cars, all this shit. You know, they're treating this shit like it is... Like this is an illegal business. This is like a this is like a drug bust almost. It's like, what the fuck are these people doing? Now, Kraft Farmer says this. He says, all these vehicles were probably taken illegally from us in the first place. I've dealt with acid and he has, right? And so I've been, we've been, I've been talking to Kraft Farmer. Shout out to, to Lance Kraft story is his story is fucking nuts by the way and he's dealt with the craziest kind of this shit and like i said i don't want to give too much away but he's dealt with civil forfeiture and he's probably right a lot of these cars potentially were forfeited they were probably taken from citizens it's crazy it's probably true Point being is, guys, at the end of the day, this is by no, there, there should never be this type of stuff should never be happening, especially to a company like the Jungle Boys that are, first of all, paying so much in taxes. Okay. This is just some random raid. This is careless. What are our tax dollars fucking going to? What is like, this is such California, LA, like the, the cannabis industry there is so fucked, right? And things definitely need to change because, you know, like Ivan said, right, this is going to have a lot of people out of business if this stuff kind of goes on. Anyways, though, let me know what you guys think. You know, I kind of want to do an overview. I know that video I posted last night was uploaded last night was kind of ambiguous, didn't really explain all of it. But hopefully this kind of connected all the dots for you guys. I'm sure many of you guys have already kind of seen all this. But let me know you guys think about this. What do you guys think about this? This this is this is just a, another example of how. These police departments, these different agencies, they operate, you know, in some ways kind of like mafia in a sense, right? They 
take your shit. Like the civil forfeiture is crazy. They they had no, there's no reason why they just got raided. They just, they just think about this. Think about a company. Think about a company like this. Think about, think about, you know, a, 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 a legal casino. Now that's maybe not the best example, but this, you know, it just, Think about a legal casino has all their papers up to date. Maybe they had a couple, you know, maybe they, they, you know, because of the pandemic, there was some kind of little bit of a little bit of a, you know, backup in terms of getting payments through in terms of tax payments. And let's say that they're, you know, and, and there's not even an ex- explanation for that, even though there's no like, like, cause that was, there was no raid that should have happened. But imagine a bunch of cops coming in to a, ca- a cash-based business, like let's say a casino in this case, right? They come in, take everything, take all the cash, and they just leave. And they say, hey, they just take all the cash. This is like, this is just, this is bully mentality. This is, there's no reason, no rhyme or reason to it. How, why do they just come in and take all the cash? Wasn't it 60K or something? You know what I mean? On top, like, it's crazy. So very, very, very ridiculous stuff. I, you know, I think we all, you know, as a community, we need to be making sure that you know it's known that this we can't stand for this kind of stuff this stuff is absolutely the epitome of why in a lot of ways cops and a lot of these government agencies are vilified and just kind of hated by the public this kind of shit right here anyways let me know you guys think down below i don't want to turn i don't want to take this make this video too long but really appreciate y'all let me know you guys think down below share this video check all the links down below comment down below what's your opinion really appreciate y'all my name is little everyone's staying safe and healthy and hey Stand with the Jungle Boys. I do. This shit cannot stand because if it happens to one company, it could happen to others. And this stuff is absolute bullshit. Okay. We need to stop letting these government agencies treat cannabis businesses differently from other businesses in this sense. Because this wouldn't be happening to other industries. Anyways, let me know you guys think down below. Much appreciated. Much love. Peace.